this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most powerful plays in College Football 25. The play is Dagger, and you can find this play out of the Bunch Strong Offset Formation in the Oregon Ducks Offensive Playbook. Now, I want to go over kind of a quick little pro tip with this play. As you can see here on the left side, what makes this play good is that you have kind of this wiggly fade or this fade on the solo wide receiver. And then you also have kind of this backwards cutting or delayed in route. This is super good for Bunch Strong as it gives you the capability to be able to run a high-low read on the left sideline simultaneously running a high-low read in the middle of the field, kind of creating a Y-cross type of concept. Now I want to go over my depth chart here with you guys and just briefly explain kind of what makes this super good. So I am using Texas here. I do think that Texas is the clear-cut best team in the game, and it really is just going to highlight a key ability that you could be using on offense. A lot of players actually get this. A lot of running backs get this. As you see, both of my running backs get this ability. The ability is called takeoff. Takeoff is a super good ability. Um, essentially, it's going to give you almost kind of like a little bit of a speed boost off the line of scrimmage, and we're going to couple that takeoff ability with Isaiah Bond, who just so happens to be 98 speed. This is going to make this play super good. So what you want to do is you want to put that player – with the takeoff ability on the solo wide receiver side. And then the rest of the setup is very simple and very quick, and I'm gonna explain why this is so good. So the reason that this is so good is the, the setup we're gonna be using for this play is we're just gonna simply put the slot receiver on a slot apprentice crosser or just a basic crosser within your hot routes. But what a lot of people like to do in College Football 25 is they like to press their coverage. When they press their coverage, what you're going to see with Isaiah Bond here is you're going to see him kind of light up at the snap, and he's going to get a speed burst. You'll see it right there, right off the line of scrimmage. And if you have a good freeform where you just basically are going to freeform this, like holding left trigger, you're going to freeform this up and over the shoulder of the defender, you can actually hit the receiver in stride, and you can basically one-play touchdown almost every zone coverage in the game. As you see right here, this is a super big play. If I break that one tackle – that's a touchdown, and that's cover four. Cover four is going to probably do the best job out of anything that we're going to cover here, and I'll show you this against cover four. I'll show it to you against cover three and cover two. So with cover three, as you see, he kind of gets that separation. Again, we're going for that over-the-shoulder over the shoulder grab, and if we just basically make that man miss, it's a touchdown every single time. So what this does is by just by having this takeoff ability and by having this specific route within this formation, another thing you can do is you can actually stem this either all the way up or all the way down. So if you wanted to stem it up a little bit, perfectly fine. It'll just make it fade a little bit more to the left and give you a little bit more space, as you see right there. And that time that, that defender did actually make a play on the ball, which is actually super rare. I, it might have been because I stemmed it. But if we just stem this streak up a little bit, you certainly can try that and kind of mess around with that. All that's going to do is it's just going to give him more room on the sideline, as you see right there, for me to be able to make a play. And as I said, if we make one, if we make that one player uh, miss, we're going to be able to, we're going to be able to get a one play score. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I had my controller die on me mid video, but, but as you see there, it's super good, super effective for cover three, super effective for cover four. Now you might think, well, Tampa two is going to be good because they're going to have that safety help over the top. Well, by running our bunch to the wide side of the field, it puts this wiggly fade to the short side. And this is one of the best cover two bombs every single year to the short side. So, again, you can feel free to stem him up or not. But what you're going to see is because he has this takeoff ability, this cloud flat is not going to press him properly. And so you're going to see he's going to kind of get a speed burst. And you can throw this right in that little window over the top of the soft squad, over the top of the cloud flat, over the top of the hard flat. So it really puts the defense in a bind if they're going to press you. Now, ironically, really one of the best ways they can run this is if they actually just call cover two man. Because by calling cover two man, sometimes you'll get this right here, as you see I'm getting. But a lot of times what's going to happen is when you go to like a, a man coverage, whether it's cover one robber, whether it's cover, cover two man, what a, what's going to happen is he's going to get jammed. And this, as you see here, is going to kind of reroute the route. And now this route's really not a good route for what we're trying to accomplish. So it really hinders them in playing zone coverage. Now we'll show if I don't press my coverage here, you're going to see I'm still going to get a speed boost off the line of scrimmage, but he's not going to be able to get open. And so I'm going to want to go through my actual progressions. So your actual progressions on this play are actually really simple. What you're mainly looking for here is this play is actually kind of hard to switch stick on. A lot of times they're going to use this right side linebacker and kind of take away this in route. But essentially, we're going to look to the fade. That's going to cause them to back this guy up. 
And then when, when they have this backed off coverage like this, we're really not looking at the fade. We're going to let it kind of run. And we're really going to quickly get our attention to the high-low read between the drag and the crosser. So you can actually throw this crosser about right in here. I did get super bumped, but you can you can basically throw it like right when he kind of clears the yellow zones. That's one of the windows in which you can throw this. So if the user kind of sits down here on the drag route, then what you want to do is you want to look to your crosser that's getting open kind of right in this little pocket right here. A lot of times what will happen, though, is they'll actually carry this. And so I'll show you what that would look like. So you see kind of here, I'm going to try to kind of carry it. They're going to carry this crossing route, and that's going to leave this drag open again right in the middle of the field. I'm not even on the sideline. I'm really high low in that middle of the field. So another thing that's going to happen is you'll get a lot of cover two on this left side. And if you get a lot of cover two on this left side, then your main read is probably going to be this drag because this streak is going to kind of clear out that cover two. This is going to come underneath it, and you see you're going to have a really good play. So you have this high-low in the middle of the field, but you also have this high-low on the sideline. So what I like to do with this from a progression is I like to look to the fade, to the crosser, to the drag, and then I'm going to kind of look back to the fade and see if I can throw this on the sideline right there. As you see, that's a super hard place and in, in space to be able to cover in this game. And the way this is going to time out, it's going to be super hard for them to get over there without using it. And if they do use it, then we can obviously just simply check down to our tight end backside. So let's say, for example, probably the best way to defend this would be a cover four drop. They're going to use that crosser and they're going to have a yellow zone for the other player. So you see here, this is all going to be good, but late in this play, he's going to come open underneath, and it's going to be a super nice little check down for you. Another thing that I did want to say real quick is if they are sending pressure at you, so a lot of people in this game, you know, they're going to get some type of variation of different blitzes. One of those blitzes might, for example, be the user kind of sitting in here. He's going to have to go take this crosser. And so one of the super cool windows that I like to do if they are blitzing me is I love to look to this tight end route kind of right in this little window right here. As you see, it's almost like a tight end verticals wheel, really effective against that coverage. Now, we didn't even get into cover two man or man coverage really well. Uh, but suffice to say, you know, basically every route on the right has a good chance to beat man. Really, the best route is probably going to be this crossing, crossing route or the drag route. Both of those routes are normally going to be pretty good against man here. The, another really cool feature of this play is it's just one quick hot route and go. So you see there, and then that time the tight end actually got open. I just wasn't able to get the ball out. But you're going to have a lot of different options. You're just going to mainly go through your progressions against man, though. Like sometimes your slot will get open. If he doesn't get open, as you see right here, this time my crosser gets open, so I'm able to throw that. I want a possession catch that. But, you know, all in all, this play is uh, a very nice power play. It just beats a lot of different coverages. It does require kind of a specific defense. I cannot throw the crosser. Um, it requires kind of a specific defense for them to be able to play good defense on you. And even then, a lot of times, if you make the right read on this play, you are going to have a lot of fun in this game because there's just a lot of stuff that you have going for you. Main coverage, low-key, kind of crazy baggy. But to be honest with you, main coverage is kind of like this every year. Practice mode, it kind of bags a little bit more than it's actually going to bag in game. And also this drag, please don't sleep on it. That drag route is super good as a man beating route. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out the rest of this offensive ebook from Oregon, make sure that you join our school community. It's only $10 to become a member over on the school site, and it's going to get you access to literally everything. It's going to get you access to all of our offensive ebooks, all of our defensive ebooks, and this year we're adding something kind of unique. Um, not, not, really, not unique to us, but unique for us, and that is a pro tip section or almost like a knowledge database where we're kind of compiling all of our pro tips and putting them into one organized little section on the website for you guys to check out. So if you're not a school community member yet, I think it's a great time to sign up because you're going to get access to all of our college football stuff as well as all of our Madden content. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the school community, the link is in the description below.